Alright everybody, we are back for part two of Dino Tamers Jurassic Riding MMO. This is Twy in game and I'm going to walk you through the ins and outs of the game so that you know the tricks to keep this game going on. Alright, so first what we're going to learn today is how to move. If you see in the bottom left hand corner we have the joystick and this was covered in the basic of how to play and then you would as you can see with the joystick you just move it around and your character will move around you'd stick your finger on the other part of the screen and that would move the camera. All right for the second thing is we're just gonna go from the top left and then we're gonna work our way around to everything on here. So you have your character, which you can actually adjust at any time. You have your task list, where if I click on it, it'll actually give me these arrows and it'll tell me where to go so that I know where to go for my next task. I actually don't want to go there yet because I'll actually need my dino. Then you have the eyeball, which I had just clicked on before, which is the eye view of the entire camp. We're going to be collecting these here because we definitely need those. And then you have your sneak, which helps you sneak up on dinosaurs when you're trying to capture them or sneak past them for strategic attacks and or just trying to avoid getting attacked by a dino. And then you have your run. Say a dino sees you and you're like, oh god, I gotta get out of here. That is what you need that for. And you're not faster than a dino, so you gotta be strategic about it. Alright, so at the very bottom here, you got that little panel. These are my main quests that I have so far. I just have to change two more Aculosauruses, and then I will get on to the next chapter, everyone. I am rank 5 right now. Now, before I was just looking around for Aculosauruses, and it was just not working for me. I was looking at them, and they're like, oh, you can't capture this one because it's too high of a level or something. So it's really important to follow the arrows if you do get stuck. Alright, so then we'll just go to the one beside it there. So with this here, this is your lab. This is where you would create things. So, Aculosaurus saddles. Well, saddles, so I could saddles for either one. Structures. Medicine. Medicine is important. I didn't think it was important, but if you don't want to wait after your dino dies, have at least one or two on hand just in case in the middle of battle. Then you have your tamers. I need to collect a lot of mushrooms to get enough tamers because you need about four of them to capture an Aculosaurus. When uh, I finish that next quest, I will be able to get these tamers, which will be awesome. I can't wait. Then we have upgrades. I have upgraded this one so far. And then I have to upgrade these ones here. That way when I'm collecting, I will actually be collecting more at one time and I won't be working so hard at it. So, if you can get these upgraded as soon as possible, that is probably your main priority. Or at least it would be mine. I would be grinding for a little bit just to get all this. Alright, I'm gonna close this. Oh, as you can see here at the top, you have how much food you have, how much cash you have, and how much gems you have. And then at the very bottom, I have how much rocks I have, or stone, how much plants, how much mushrooms, and then you have the main things that you get from your dinos, and then you have... I believe it's copper and then gems, the purple ones. Alright, then I'm gonna go to here, which is the dinos that I have so far. This is my Aculosaurus. This is my other Aculosaurus. As you can see, one is a higher level than the other, and that is because I got rid of my other dino to capture this Aculosaurus, 
and then I'm going to sell this Aculosaurus and capture another dino. This is how I'm going to get the money I need. I'm going to jump into the cage. So you can see the dinos. I'm going to go over to my other dino. So at the top here, this is how you change which dino you want to look at. So if I'm on this dino here, if I had enough food, I would feed him, but I don't. And if he was injured, I could heal him, but I don't need to do that right now. Now, if you're on the dino here, it says Wild Dino and Ride Dino. If I clicked on Wild Dino, I would be the dino. This is me being the dino. I want to look at my dino bump. Don't look at my dino bump. This is me being the dino. Now, I could go back. Enter. And now I only have one dino in here. If you click on your dino, you would unwild. And now I'm riding the dino. Now that I'm not wild anymore, let's take my dino back to its go. Alright, now as you can see my Aculosaurus is evolved level 2 and level 12. If I go on Ride Dino I would be like just exactly as I was before. If I go over here I have three attribute points to use. I can upgrade my attack and then I'll go here. As you can see, my stun and my cooldown. My stun cooldown is 5, and my blood drain cooldown is also 5 seconds. It is a really long time, 5 seconds. Really long time. So, make sure that you have some attack so that you can make up for how long that takes. I also suggest making sure that you wait the 5 seconds before you get into another battle because you don't want to go in not having that available to you right away. I'm just going to jump out of this pen here. <laughs> I'm still being sneaky, see that? Alright. Now we're just going to go... And then the last button is go into the jungle. You don't want to go there without your dino, so make sure that you mount it first. So let's jump into the pen. Ride dino. Click here because we don't need to walk all the way to the gate. I mean, you can if you really want to. That is up to you. But if you want tips and tricks, the tip is to just click the button and just go straight into the jungle. You do not have to go through that gate. Uh, now what I really need to do is collect some mushrooms. Get run past this guy. I don't want to deal with him. Ooh, mushrooms. Is that guy following me? No. Okay. Click on your dino and you can dismount. When you're dismounted, you can actually collect. Now, since I'm dismounted and I want to go and start doing collecting and stuff like that, what I suggest is to click on your dino, click follow. Your dino will now follow you wherever you go. Now, when you're collecting, especially when it comes to stone, just hold the button down and it'll do all the collecting for you. You actually don't even have to move if you're close enough to another location. It'll just automatically collect. As you can see, my dino kind of ran in front of me, so I wasn't able to run past him. But, I just gave my joystick a little push. I was in range again, and off we go. I'm just holding the button down because if I kept clicking, it would just be so annoying because it makes a really loud clicking noise. Alright, let's keep going this way. 
Are there mushrooms down here to collect? Oh, there are. That is exciting. Ooh. No. I want to collect these mushrooms. Now, be very careful. You don't want to accidentally get a dino's attention. go into this battle here and I will show you what a battle is like. That way I don't have to worry about this guy. Alright, done. Let's blood drain. I probably should have blood drained into like a little bit of lower health. But with this guy it was pretty Alright, dismount. And Gotta get closer to look at my dino. I can't zoom in or out, so that's a downside to this game. Hopefully that's something that they could fix in the future. Zooming in and out would definitely help. Because I like to look at things in a huge point of view, as opposed to looking at it in just a small range. Alright, collecting some copper. Honestly, I don't really need to collect all this stuff right now, but it's really good to collect pretty much anything you can because you're going to need it later automatically. And the stuff actually respawns fairly quickly. So as you can see, I just, I just collected that stuff already. And it's already back. This mushroom is back already. And going up this path because the stuff up here will be already be here. I'm gonna go straight up here because I want these mushrooms. What was that? Oh, that's just another guy. Ignore the other guy. Dino, stop pushing me around, boy. I just want I just want my mushrooms. Let's see. Go into here to create. Uh, taming items. I only have half the mushrooms. Let me pause the game for a second here just so I can quickly go and get enough mushrooms. Alright, now I have enough mushrooms and I have enough stone so I'm going to craft it. Now I have four. That is what I need. I'm going to mount my dino. I'm going to run over to where I need to go over to. It's pointing to that guy right there, so I want to dismount from my dino. I want to go in sneak attack mode. Will he let me catch him if I miss close? Oh, yeah. Tame him! Alright, here we go, here we go! Awesome! This Aculosaurus is mine! Now, I could throw him in the pen, or I could throw him for sale. I don't need this one, so I'm gonna sell him. 200, look at that. This is what we needed, some cash. Now if we were to, say, get some upgrades, we finally have enough cash to do the upgrades. See this? Oh, so nice. But it takes so long to gather the first, like, set of stuff. But now, this one is a lot easier to collect. As you can see, I have a lot of it. Now I don't need as much of it when it comes to other things, like evolving. As you can see, I was far away. I'm going far away again. I called my dino and now he's following me. Info. I go far away. And I'm like, oh no, where did I put my dino? Just 
call him and he comes like a good boy. What a good boy. Alright, and then I will jump on my dino. And then if I press the corner button here again, I can go back to camp. Now that we're in Skyview, I just wanted to bring you over to these buildings here. So there's the egg building where you can actually purchase other things like dinos. It tells you which dino is for which egg. If you wanted to buy these. I'm not really one on purchasing things. But if it's something up your alley, definitely go ahead. Then there's PvP mode. You could select a dinosaur. And then you're fighting other people. Which is kind of going to suck for me because... My dino is definitely not very strong enough. Alright, so you see how all these dinos are blue? That's us. We have to find the dinos that aren't blue. That red guy over there. Let's go get him. work other guy oh you can hold your button down and that's what I usually strongly suggest is just to hold down oh my dino just died but it's still 12 seconds left in the game in this PvP match and we know that they're all over here Look, see? I killed three! Like, how awesome is that? I barely did anything. But our team wins. Next match in six seconds. But I don't want to be in the next match. I like, I hardly did anything. I didn't think that I would be like such a strong contender in this. I thought I'd actually be a very weak contender in this. But uh, I'm just going to go out of here. Like, I have so much room to build stuff. I am not even close to what I could be doing yet. If you guys find this game interesting at all, definitely give it a try. I'm going to cut the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Twyin Game. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell so I see you every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. This is Twyin Game. Twy out.